Another big story we're following tonight. Federal prosecutors fighting back against a former Baltimore police officer's attempts to get his conviction thrown out. Tonight, they have now made public an interview where Daniel Hersel admits stealing from victims despite his claims of innocence. WJZ investigator Mike Helgren live at City Police headquarters tonight with this huge development. Mike. Rick, uh, Pros Herschel was a member of the notorious Gun Trace Task Force, and prosecutors say he did admit to them and the FBI that he took money from multiple victims. Federal prosecutors are firing back at the claims of a former Baltimore police officer who says he never stole money from victims in the largest corruption scandal in department history. Daniel Herschel, who's serving an 18-year prison sentence for crimes committed while part of the disgraced Gun Trace Task Force, has maintained his innocence. But in a new court filing, federal prosecutors say Herschel admitted to taking money six times. And in a rare move, they made public for the first time excerpts of Herschel's August 2017 interview with prosecutors and the FBI, what's called a proffer session that took place before his trial. It's unusual because most of the time people in the defendant's position understand that if they say something different now, after having done that interview, that the government is then going to be able to use that interview against them. In the interviews, Herschel admits taking money from one victim on Penn and North and using it to buy lunch for fellow officers. Admits he stole money from a police fund used to pay confidential informants. Yes, sir, do you understand your rights? Covered for GTTF ringleader Sergeant Wayne Jenkins, who was stealing massive amounts of drugs, and even that he took a Chanel purse while exercising a search warrant on Boston Street. Prosecutors wrote, Herschel is lying when he tells the court that the defendant did not admit to taking money from any of the victims portrayed at the trial. He did, over and over again, during his second interview with the government. Herschel wrote from prison in letters first reported by WJZ that he was a good cop working with bad cops and repeatedly said he never stole from anyone. It's just sort of a, a last-ditch effort that, uh, that Detective Herschel seems to be making. And Herschel also uh, is being sued by Baltimore rapper Young Moose, who claims that the former officer harassed him and planted drugs on him. Reporting live at City Police Headquarters, Mike Helgren, WJZ.